All right, I have some elbow macaroni here. Not gonna use this whole 32 ounce bag. This is the only thing they had. But gonna use about, I don't know, half of it maybe. Let me get out, spread it out a little bit. Now I have two and a half cups of whole milk. And this is gonna be the liquid that cooks the noodles. All right. Now I also have a can of evaporated milk. Oops, I don't exactly know what this stuff is. Isn't evaporated supposed to be like not there anymore? I don't know. I think we may have some noodles. You know, we're just gonna use this whole bag. I changed my mind. All right. It's good so far. I don't know if you could tell already, but I have three cups of shredded cheese. Now what I did here is I mixed cheeses. I have a little bit of Colby Jack in here, some cheddar, and some mozzarella. You could kind of use whatever cheese you want. And I don't know if you could already tell, I am making a crock pot macaroni and cheese. Let me tell you a quick little story, guys. I absolutely love macaroni and cheese. I know everybody does, especially when they're growing up, but it's something special to me because it's something I shared with my grandmother. Um, whenever I was sick, or fake sick, which I was really good at doing when I was a little kid. Don't tell my parents, but um, I would go over to her house and she had a dog. Her dog was named Smokey. And I would purposely take my school lunch with me when I went over to her house when I was sick. And what I would do is I would leave the sandwich open on the coffee table and then go upstairs to pretend to use the bathroom. Then, of course, the dog would eat it because it was right there. And then I would come down and I'd go up to her and be like, Grandma, Smokey ate my um, sandwich. And then what she would do, she would make me macaroni and cheese. So it's just a memory I have with her. Um, she passed away a while ago, but just why it's something that's very kind of close to me that, you know, sometimes food gives you those memories. All right, now I'm going to take an eight ounce brick of cream cheese and put that right in the center. Good already, guys. Now, don't mix this. You're gonna mix it after you cook it. You basically just want the noodles to cook. Now, for some spices, I'm gonna add some garlic powder. Absolutely love garlic. And of course, it's gonna go great in this macaroni and cheese. You could use fresh garlic if you want as well, but I just like the powder a little bit. Use some pink Himalayan sea salt. Again, as much as you'd like or as little as you'd like. Now some black pepper. This is a very, very simple dish. Couple ingredients, but I gotta tell you, out of all the macaroni and cheese recipes I've ever made, this one is probably one of the best and one of the easiest. All right, now all you're doing is taking this, gonna cover it, cook it on low for about two and a half to three hours. All right, looks like our macaroni and cheese is all done. Now you're gonna give everything a very good mix. Oh, this smells so good. So glad I put the garlic in there. How good this looks. All right, it's nice and mixed up. I'll take this on my plate. Love macaroni and cheese so much. How good that looks.